guys, it's Vi. Welcome back to my channel. And guess what? I'm playing Arcage once again. Big surprise. Anyhow, um, I am doing this video today because I wanted to show you this little baby here. Um, this is the thatched farmhouse, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. So I do have some stuff in my bag so I can show you the kind of space you've got. I have a bunch of trees out here, um, so these are all planted, but in between you could be planting other objects that are not so big. So you have this whole area. It is sitting on a 24 by 24 lot, this house is. And um, I'm just going to run around the house so you can see the entire outside, um, the perimeter, pretty much everything that you get. So what it looks like from the back. And I will show you the information in the front. Now this particular property is available with using your Gilda stars. It costs 50 Gilda stars to purchase and you can go to Mirage Isle and pick one up. Or I believe they do have them on the broker. Let's find out what they go for right now. So your thatched farmhouse designs are going currently for 103 gold on my server. So you could purchase one outright. Um, it's got all of the information. It tells you exactly how big it is, um, all the stuff. So for starters, it is considered a farmhouse. Like I said, it's a 24 by 24 lot. You can put a total of 45 items in the house. And as always, only patrons can own property. Um, in order to build this, you have to build this in order. You need 10 stone packs, then 5 iron packs, and then 10 lumber packs. You also have to have your tax certs, which is 30 tax certificates. I think I had to have a total of 45 because right here where it says security deposit, 30 tax certs, taxes 15. I believe I had to have both of those, so I paid a total of 45 taxes when I built this. And so I'm going to show you some of the goodies that it comes with. So right off the bat here, you have a water barrel, which you can then get water from for your crops. And you get anywhere from, I think the max you can get in one pull is six, or I mean is 10, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know that you can get multiple buckets or you get single buckets of water and you can water your crops with that. Um, each of these windows and doors, they all open. All you have to do is hit the F key to open or close. The same can be said for your front door. Um, I'm going to show you the information that's listed here. It tells you who owns it, who the tax collector is in Villanelle because that is where I am currently living. And it tells you how many decor items you have placed and how many you can have. I have zero decor items currently because I am in transition for upgrading my farmhouse. This is upgradable. Um, this is what you can have in it. You can have three special decor, which I'm not exactly sure what those um, go for because I'm not sure. You can have a total of three storage chests. You can have one otherworld storage chest and one dimensional storage chest. Now the other world and the dimensional storage chests, I'm not sure what those are or where you can get them, but I'm assuming that they are something you can purchase off of the, um, like off the marketplace or something. And the reason you can only have one of those, I believe, is because it's kind of like those farmhouse or the um, scarecrow farms where you can only have one per account. So you can have, if you had all of those, you could have a total of five storage chests in here to hold items, kind of like an extra bank. It tells you if you have territory taxes or if you have hostile faction taxes and the percentage that you have to pay. It tells you how many of taxes are due. Now your taxes are dependent on how many properties you own. So if you own three or more properties, you are considered high tax bracket and it will go up. So right now it tells me how many taxes are due. And it tells the tax status. It says I'm not paid up yet, though I still have some time and it will tell you it's protected until. So this is the date where my property will become, um, it will it will go to demolition if I don't pay the taxes on that. So Then down here you have usage permissions and you can choose to put it as private, which means characters on your account only can all share the house. If you set it to guild, if you are in a guild, that means that yourself as well as your entire guild can then use it. I have mine set to family because I am playing with Kai and my friend X and we all kind of share properties so I have it to set to family so anyone in the family can then use this property or you can set it open to public but that means anybody can come and go. 
You also have this little check mark where you can prevent removal of decor. So there's lots of little decor pieces. There's picture frames and all kinds of stuff. And it just kind of prevents you from accidentally right clicking and putting it into your bag. And that way, you know, whatever you put down is set in stone. You can uncheck this and check it whenever you are like redecorating or doing whatever you're going to do. You have the option to rename it. I have called mine my happy farmhouse. I don't know why, but I have my happy farmhouse and I have my happy, my happy farm properties. And I think I have one that's like my happy haven. I have no idea why I started doing that, but I kind of have this whole little my happy whatever theme going on. So you can change the name on there. Um, like I said, this is an upgradable house. So you do have this remodel button. It says you can construct a different building of the same level without losing ownership of the land beneath it. So when you hit remodel, you have different choices of things that you can do for your remodel. You can make it into a harvester's farmhouse, a rancher's farmhouse, or a miner's farmhouse. But I'm not going to go into what those do at this time. Um, keep your eyes peeled for future videos because I will cover um, some of that information. But anyways, you can remodel this one and change it and it's an upgradable house, like I said. You also have this, uh, if you hit G, it uses machines or tools. You can craft tax certificates here. So you can make your tax certificates to pay for your taxes, etc. Requires 200 labor to do so, and you get five tickets per transaction, basically. Or you can make building management titles, and that requires a building management permit as well as um, tax certificates times 30 or 50. I'm actually not sure. It's hard to see what it says here, so I'm not 100% what it what it takes right here. Sometimes the numbers and stuff are really hard, and it takes 100 labor to make one of these. All right, so I'm going to show you the inside. We're going to go ahead and open the door. Like I said, it is bare bones because I am in the process of upgrading, so I didn't want to add a whole lot of stuff. I actually had to mail a bunch of things to my character to hold on to the stuff. But this is the inside of the thatched farmhouse, and like I said, the doors and windows, they're all open and shut. They can, they can do both. You do have this fireplace hearth right here. And if you were to light it, it takes 10 labor to light it. You can save your location to your teleport book and you can use cooking equipment when it is lit. So the teleportation book is this one. I will open it up and show you right here. It becomes under a recorded site. You can list it as whatever you want and we'll tell you what zone and what continent. And you can click here for the location of exactly where it is. So it's kind of nice to have an extra port home and it's not just to this zone. I literally come right here and I imported right in front of uh, the fireplace. So it's kind of really nice to have. But anyways, um, this is pretty much it for the thatched farmhouse, uh, what it looks like, what it provides. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be upgrading this one, remodeling this one to be a larger farmhouse. So Keep your eyes peeled for future videos on that if you wanted to see what the remodel does. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me this time on ArcAge to check out my thatched farmhouse. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that if you had questions, then maybe I helped answer them. So leave me comments down below, questions if you have them, and uh, go out there, be a pineapple. Stand up tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. I will see you guys all next time.